it's Lucy Fink. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Take if care. you're new here, I'm a 29 year old girl living in New York City and I'm a new mom and I thought it would be so fun if I cooked dinner with you. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite dinner recipes and see. Cut! Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Lucy Fink and I'm going to be making some of my favorite dinner recipes for you tonight. If you follow me on Instagram, at Lucy B. Fink, you probably see my stories all the time where I just kind of take you inside my kitchen and I show you what I'm making for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I get a lot of questions about recipes. The thing is, I'm not much of a recipe person. I don't write down my recipes, I just follow things from the internet and I tweak them and I make them my own, and so I figured I could source together three of my favorites. These are like go-to dinners. One is a tofu recipe, one is a chicken slash turkey recipe, and one is a fish recipe, so I figured, you know, there's something here for everyone, and I'm just gonna share with you what we do. Tonight I'm making honey ginger garlic tofu. On the side, I'm going to have some white jasmine rice and also some roasted broccoli that I've been making really fun with garlic and lemon zest. I'm going to preheat the oven. So we're gonna put it on 375. So let's get started with making the rice. Three cups of broth. I usually like making my rice with broth because I think it just makes it tastier. Hey Mike, what you doing? I didn't sign a release form for this. Broccoli. Moving on to the sauce for the tofu. Ginger and garlic. I have tamari because this is gluten-free soy sauce option. Two of rice vinegar, sesame oil. Now for the honey. You need extra firm tofu for this recipe. Not firm, not silken, extra firm. And now this tofu is going into our bowl. And now this and the broccoli can go into the oven at the same time. Two of these. And now we wait. Well, the rice is ready. I'm going to move this off the heat, fluff it around, and then let it sit with the lid on for 10 minutes. I'm gonna clean up, put everything back in its place. Clean up, clean up, everybody In 12 minutes, I'm checking the food. Rotating this, if possible. And that's the alert for the rice. It's been exactly 30 minutes, and I think it's ready. Broccolicious, tofalicious. Yum! The topping of the century. Black sesame seeds. Cheers! We forgot the scallions! I can't believe us. That is beauty. And now, we're done. See you for dinner number two. <laughs> Recipe number two. Now this one is a Fink family classic. This is a Jimmy Fink specialty, and it is filet of sole. We have lemon sole here from the grocery store, and I'm gonna top it with some lemon, some butter, scallions, parsley, we're gonna have a side of asparagus and some right rice on the side. Let's get started. Whenever I use this fish, I actually always find little bones in it, so I'm going to first do a little bone inspection myself. Let me first wash my hands. How about that? See? I'm gonna first prep the asparagus and the parsley and the scallions and just get everything washed. We're trying a new trick, which is snapping the asparagus and letting it break wherever it's meant to break. Mm -hmm. 
380 or oven to 350. I've got this olive oil. I'm just gonna drizzle a little on the fish. You can kind of just do your own spices to your taste preferences. We're gonna get our lemon. Parsley. I'm gonna leave a little bit of each of the herbs to put on fresh at the end. So I'm gonna only put half of each. Now we take our other lemon, and this one is making pretty rounds. Nice. Really important next step, butter. And now for the asparagus. Olive oil, salt, and pepper, garlic powder. As soon as the oven's preheated, the fish and the asparagus can go in. And now we're gonna make the right rice. Okay, the oven's preheated. Fresh scallions, and if you want it, some of the fresh parsley. Enjoy! And that was dinner recipe number two. Time for recipe number three. <laughs> All right, next recipe. I am not in my kitchen for this one. This is my content manager, Laura's apartment. I came over here because it's really hot in my apartment right now and the air conditioning is not working. This is our chicken slash turkey recipe, and I say slash because you can choose. Today I went with ground chicken, so I bought a half a pound of ground chicken at the grocery store. And I'm just gonna kind of make the vegetables of my choice on the side. So we're gonna get started with these sweet potatoes that I cut in this very interesting round shape. And I'm just gonna season them up. So I'm gonna put olive oil. Where's the olive oil? This is not my kitchen. Got it! This is like the Dead Sea in here. Toss, toss. Potatoes always take a really long time to cook, so I'm just gonna put them in ahead of time while we make meatballs. Half a pound of ground chicken. We're getting our raw meat handling gloves. One, two. Nice, nice. So I've got my ground chicken. I would say one and a half tablespoons of freshly chopped spinach. Yellow onion. One egg. Boop. Pre-chopped garlic. Um, here, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Oh! It's hard. Too many cricket! Here, I know how to do it. You take a knife. Eyeball your garlic. Gluten-free breadcrumbs. And we're gonna do a little onion powder. Perfect serving of eight meatballs. I set it to 375 and it'll probably take about 20 to 30 minutes and we're just gonna eyeball them. Set a timer for 15 minutes to check them. Let's clean up. Okay, time for the spinach. Just like that, a simple dinner. Yum! Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. I really hope you liked watching these three recipes. These honestly are on repeat in our house all the time, so I hope you make them and love them. If you do, please tag me on Instagram, at Lucy B. Fink, and I can't wait to see your food. Do you like the food, I mean? I don't want to be filmed eating food this good. <laughs> Why, it's so good? Yeah. What do you think? So good, Mom. Thanks. All right. Thanks, you too. Really helpful. See you next time.